For the tester, sit on a chair next to a table so that the elbow and the lower arm rests on the table comfortably. Place the heel of the hand on the table so that the fingers and the thumb extend beyond. The fingers and the thumb should at least be one inch apart. Now catch the ruler or a stick with a thumb and an index finger without lifting the elbow from the table as the partner drops the stick or the ruler. Hold the stick or the ruler while the partner reads the measurement. Do this thrice. For the partner, hold the ruler or stick at the top, allowing it to dangle between the thumb and fingers of the performer. Hold the ruler or stick so that the 12-inch mark is even between the thumb and the index finger. No part of the hand of the performer should touch the ruler or stick. Drop the ruler or stick without warning and let the tester catch it with his or her thumb and index finger. Record the score on the upper part of the thumb. How to execute the test. Hit the SIPA or rubber bands or any similar local material alternately with the right and left palm upwards. The height of the material being tossed should be at least above the head. For the partner, count how many times the performer has hit the material with the right and left hand. Stop the test if the material drops or after two minutes has expired. There shall be three trials. Move your shoes and place your hands on the hips. Position the right foot on the side of the knee of the left foot. Raise the heel to balance on the ball of the foot. Do the same procedure with the opposite foot. For the partner, start the time as the heel of the performer is raised off the floor. Stop the time if any of the following occurs. The hand or hands come off the hips. The supporting foot swivels or moves or hops in any direction. Or the non-supporting foot loses contact with the knee. Or the heel of the supporting foot touches the floor. There shall be three trials.